dance, dance, we on Friday night. What's going on, world? It's your man, St. Uno, back again for another one. And in today's video, we are going to be talking about how to actually have your prayers answered by God, him slash her slash itself. You know what I'm saying? Hold on. I got to make sure I'm recording. I get annoyed at sometimes. Man, one time I recorded a whole fucking video and then I didn't hear record. And it was so good. And then I remade the video, but of course the remake wasn't as good as the original. So I get super annoyed. At, I'm like, am I recording? And I got a little thing. You should be able to tell in the front of my camera, but I got a little attachment that blocks it so I can't even see. But we're good to go, baby. You know what I'm saying? So um, yeah, very, very, very important video today. You know what I'm saying? Saturn day. I got my all black on. Black Sabbath. Black Saturn return day. You know what I'm saying? So we... It's real businessy, real, okay, let's actually get some shit done in the world. Let's actually materialize something, you know what I'm saying? And it's a day about restriction, but it's like discipline too, you know what I'm saying? So like, let's, um, let's formulate some discipline on this beautiful Saturn day, shall we? You know what I'm saying? So like I said, today's video is going to be about how to actually have your prayers answered by God. Now before we get into this we gotta you might be new to the channel you know what i'm saying the channel's growing daily you know what i'm saying so you might hear that you might have clicked the thumbnail saw a prayer and think oh, okay cool another christian another christian influencer another christ warrior on youtube hell no nah. get the fuck off the channel right now that's not what we talking about or actually stay around because we need to transmit your energy and we need to make your mind in the right shape and form you know what i'm saying so we can move better and have a better 2000 years move, moving forward you know what i'm saying so actually if you're a christian that's cool stick around listen i'm not trying to make you abandon your religion i'm trying to refine it and make it actually work for you because you know good and goddamn well yourself you may feel guilty for saying this, but God's not answering your prayers right now. Why'd you click the video then? Why you click the video? If God was answering all your prayers and your religion was talking about shit and you was manifesting, if you didn't want to call it that because you're Christian and you, you, every, answer, every prayer you prayed, it was getting blessed and everything was going great in your life and your God had actual, you held your God accountable like it was like a business you hired, you know what I'm saying? Like if you hire somebody to do your taxes and they fuck your taxes, that happened to me last year. I am not hiring the people I did to do my, I'm fucking turbo taxing it, you know what I'm saying? I paid these niggas a thousand dollars just to do some shit I could do on turbo tax. You know what I'm saying? Pretty much all the money I spent on taxes, I, had, I, was what I, I pretty much broke goddamn even. I'm like, what the fuck? I'm paying y'all niggas money. Y'all supposed to be finding loopholes and shit, man. They ain't treating me like shit. So I am not hiring them again, you know what I'm saying? Because why? They didn't produce the results that they supposed to do. Y'all do that with with businesses, y'all do that with your friends, you know what I'm saying? With relationships, y'all do that with everything in the world, but then when it comes to God, you don't want to hold your God accountable. You just want to be like, "Oh, okay, I'm just you like afraid, you fear your God." So like, you don't never nut up, drop your nuts or let your drop your ovaries, you know what I'm saying? And like demand stuff from God. You're like, "Oh no, I'm just happy, just thankful to be alive and thankful to not be." And you should be thankful to be alive, but like you know what I'm saying? You, there's motherfuckers out here having it their way, getting shit done, being real productive, real manifesty, real materializing out here. So that means somebody doing something that works. You just not doing something that works. So it's time to do something that actually fucking works. You know what I'm saying? So let's get this shit working. So before we get into it, we got to break these terms down. God, God is just all possibilities, right? Just bringing something unique new, um, you know what I'm saying? All possible, not limitations. And I'm going to do another video on this too, because I even made a video last night for myself, um, excuse me, like all possibilities, like don't even, don't hear that and make it like a Christian God concept too, where it's like, yes, any new, good, wonderful possibility. No, all possibilities means all, po all, all negative things possible, all terrible things possible, all evil things possible, all good things. It's just a, it's just a neutral space that allows things to happen, allow things to develop, you know what I'm saying? So let's say if someone's doing something good, quote unquote, but good and evil is just human morality, um, empathy, viewpoints. It's no ob objective, real good and evil, you know what I'm saying? So, but let's just say for the most part, someone's doing something good, but it's in the format of what's already been done before, you know what I'm saying? So they're like, you know what I'm saying? Um, they're being good Christians. They're saying, okay, there's billions of, millions of good Christians across the world. It's no new shit. But you got somebody being bad, quote unquote, you know what I'm saying? These things are objective. But the way they're being bad is truly and unique to themselves. You know what I'm saying? So they're not being bad because they joined the gang or they're not being bad because they're devil worshipers or, you know what I'm saying? In the, like, no, they're like whatever they went through in their, in their life kind of 
drew them to their own conclusion that, okay, I have to be bad, quote unquote, bad in this respect. You know what I'm saying? So based on what they went through in life, um, they may curse a lot. They may be a potty mouth or something like that. You know what I'm saying? When words ain't even nothing. But for the most part, they may be cursing people out all the time. And you, from your Christian standpoint, you think that is bad. Um, if this person is doing this from a place of uniqueness and they're doing it in a way, because when you're unique, everybody is um, different by default. We're all unique individuals from our own space. So whenever we tap into our own individuality, we are bringing a form of all possibilities here because it's impossible for anybody else to be you. You're the only one that can be you. So when someone's who's acting bad, but it's more in line with their nature of who they actually are versus somebody being good, but it's just picking up a template that already exists, like Christianity or something like that, this person who's being quote unquote bad will be able to manifest and materialize a lot more than this person who's good. And this person who's good may get frustrated and be like, what the hell? Start to become a hater and do little weak ass witchcraft. Like God, punish that person you know, behind closed doors. Like God, punish this person because they're not being good. I believe in you. I actually do your word. And they're going to keep, but it's not going to go nowhere. It's not going to make nothing happen. If anything, that person who's truly being more themselves, even though it's quote unquote negative, is going to transmute that energy and you just gave them more energy to work with. So the more you wish on their downfall, actually, the more they're actually to be, get shit done and have people like them and be successful and shit like that. And then you become bitter. Why? It's because all possibilities, like I said, it's not a good or a bad thing. It's just all possible. It's just who's, who's bringing some new shit. Who's doing some new shit. Who's bringing something to the table that ain't never been done before that a spirit can hop into and be like, Ooh, I want to experience this. You know what I'm saying? Not, oh, okay. I see this all the time. I'm not going to hop into that and experience that. You know what I'm saying? Where's the new shit? You know what I'm saying? So it's not a don't hear all possibilities and think, oh, yes, all my dreams can come true. All my desires can come true. All my fantasies can come true. Yeah, but all your nightmares can come true. All your, you know what I'm saying, negative thoughts can come true. All Anything can come true. So just be careful what you have on your mind. Just understand what it is. You know what I'm saying? And don't create a new Christian concept out of it. God concept out of it. You know what I'm saying? Okay, so boom, that's God. All possibilities. Anything can happen. Anything is possible. You know what I'm saying? Georgia Lottery. Today could be the day. Face ass. You know what I'm saying? So that's that part of the definition. Now we got prayers. Because this video is how to get your prayer answers by God. Actually. You know what I'm saying? So it actually works. Prayers is whenever you become a spiritual predator. Right? So it's not asking for something like I am in a thumbnail where it's like, oh my God, God, please, I want a new pair of shoes. They made fun of my shoes at school today. I just want some new shoes. God, you're asking for something. That's not what praying is. Replace the A with an E. You know what I'm saying? Make any everything possible. You know what I'm saying? That E, now you're, well, you're not going to be pray, but now prayer becomes, okay, what am I praying on? What am I becoming a spiritual predator for? I'm like a, you know what I'm saying, I'm like a, 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 a Zulu, you know what I'm saying, warrior in the woods, like tracking down a cheetah or a hyena or a, 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 a lamb chop or <laughs> some shit to eat. You know what I'm saying? I'm the spiritual predator and I got the spear ready and I'm focused and I'm, I'm zoning in on that thing. So I'm finding something to zone in on, to materialize if we're talking about you know, actual physical materialization, like a, a new book bag or a new lamp or a new new pots and pans, new something, or it could just be a manifestation, a new ability. You want confidence. You want happiness. You want to um, feel less depressed. You know what I'm saying? You want to be able to learn how to rap, learn how to draw, learn how to, you know what I'm saying, make your bed better, whatever. Be a better partner. Be a better husband. Be a better wife, whatever it is. Um, have something specific that you are attacking. That is your prey. So now you're the predator attacking the P-R-E-Y, and now you're going in for the kill with your prayer, using your thoughts and your um, feelings, your fourth and your fifth dimensional energy to create a sixth dimensional character, right? And that's going to play out in the one, two, and third dimension as your physical vessel character actually having or attaining or capturing, catching, killing that thing that you added to your character in the fourth, fifth, and sixth dimension, which ends up creating the one, two, and third dimension. You know what I'm saying? So now you're a spiritual predator. You did it up there first. Okay, this is a part of my character. Boom. Now that thing's going to show up in your actual one, two, and third dimensional reality, and then you repeat the process. And it's also important to um, work within your means when you're doing magic, right? Um, we want to, because like this, this channel is always about equilibrium. You know what I'm saying? We're, we're really physical and we're really spiritual. So a lot of the times when people think about magic or pr becoming a spiritual predator or praying or manifesting, materializing, they, I'm not going to say they think too big because the big picture is important. It's all possibilities. Anything can happen. But at the same time, it's, a, it's still a step-by-step -step process. You know what I'm saying? You still got to walk by every step 
to um, get to the top of the stairs. You know what I'm saying? You still have to go through all 12 houses to make a perfect 360. You know what I'm saying? You got to walk before you run. You got to crawl before you walk, walk before you run. That applies to all levels. So I'm not here to say that that big dream manifestation materialization can't happen, but you got to break it down. You know what I'm saying? You got a nickel and diamond. You got to say, okay, if I'm trying to materialize a million dollars, but I ain't got 10 bucks, let me start with 10 bucks. And then once that, you, you, you capture 10 bucks, you kill that. Say, okay, boom. Now you're build, building on your magic. So you got some, it's like building a spiritual resume. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm a videographer, right? If I try to get somebody to, oh, let me shoot your music video. Let me shoot your wedding. Let me shoot your event. Okay, can I see some work you've done? Uh, I've never shot anything before. What the fuck? You're not going to get hired, right? So that's why even if you're starting a business, a service-based business, um, you may have to be in a position where you actually provide services to individuals for free at first so that you can build some type of resume, some type of portfolio, some proof in the pudding so that you can prove to other individuals you can actually deliver on what you're promising to them. It's the same thing with your own internal magic and manifestations and materializations, right? It's like, all right, if I'm trying to materialize a million dollars, I need a track record. I need a resume. I need a portfolio. Let me get 10 first. Boom. Got that. Check it off. Let me get 100 next. Boom. Check that. Got it off. Let me get... 500, boom, 1,000, 5,000, 10,000, 50,000, 100,000, 500,000. Now, right, 10 years later, after you done built a crazy resume, you can do the thing, okay, now I can become a spiritual predator and prey on a million dollars, not try to prey on a million dollars when I only got fucking $3 in my pocket because that's a lot farther out of your realm of possibilities. You know what I'm saying? You still got to deal with reality to an extent that is the magic if you're not actually making it in reality it's just magical thinking no magical thinking is one aspect of it but you got to actually bring this shit into reality too so don't just stay some foo-foo la-la land shit you know what i'm saying so and the best way to do that is to break it down you know what i'm saying nickel and diamond so you know what prayer is you know what god is how do you actually have your answer your your prayers answered by god okay boom so check this out. In my personal life right now, in my family, I got a, a text, a group text the other day. And it was from one of my family members talking about how they was in the hospital and how they need, um, you know what I'm saying, they need people to send thoughts and prayers and wishes and stuff like that. And so everybody's like, oh, get well soon. God's going to, you know what I'm saying, do this, sending you good energy, good vibes, keeping you in my thoughts. You know what I'm saying? We're visualizing you having a speedy recovery, right? So what do we always say? Teamwork makes the dream work. You know what I'm saying? So it dawned to me. It's like, okay, this is because I'm not knocking this per se, but it's like, it's like, oh, shit. Like what we're doing right now is we're creating a prayer group. You know what I'm saying? We're um, all getting one intention in our mind because it's teamwork makes the dream work. God isn't a respecter of individuals. It's always the more, um, like that spirit bomb analogy that I always make, the, the more um, individuals you have adding their energy to that spirit bomb, then that's going to make it more stronger to actually come down as a, as a materialization or a manifestation, right? So it's teamwork makes the dream work. This is how the shadow government rules the world with using their witchcraft, their news channels, and their celebrity puppets to get y'all my, minds to, um, you know what I'm saying? It's like, a, what do they call it? Uh, it's like predictive programming, you know what I'm saying? So they'll put something in The Simpsons, you know what I'm saying? And then, oh, 10 years later, it's like, oh, my God, look, The Simpsons predicted the future. No, they just use their witchcraft to put shit on y'all minds. So we, and they use our own witchcraft that everybody has access to against us. So they made these things happen by programming them into your reality in the first place, giving you different visions and stuff like that, you know what I'm saying? So this is what they already do to rule the world. So individuals, right? We got this. We got this prayer group going for, um, for uh, my my relative who's not doing well right now, and that's all beautiful and that's all fine. But it dawned on me. It's like, damn, like, okay, why why does it take a tragedy to get us all on the same page? Like, why does it take someone going through something traumatic or tragic? for us to finally start using our power, start using our witchcraft. Okay, everybody, let's dedicate our thoughts and our feelings and our visualizations and our mental energy and our emotional energy to a specific goal. In this case, it's um, towards helping an individual have a speedy recovery, right? Because this is why we even do things like this, because we are all aware that we are magical to a certain extent. So this is what we're doing. We're saying, oh, sending you my prayers or pray for Paris or whatever the fuck it is, you know what I'm saying? 
but when we only do it for things when they when it when it becomes a tragic situation this is like a small example of um the pluto energy and we got moon and scorpio right now so it's even fitting to talk about some type of pluto energy which rules scorpio you know what i'm saying where it's like if you don't um transform your own life then pluto will transform it for you via catastrophic situation so if you don't take uh, your own power back and use it the right way God will put you in a situation where it sits you down on your ass and you're forced to use your power, a.k.a. someone going through a, a traumatic circumstance or situation. And now it's like, OK, let's get everybody together to pray to um, have this certain outcome. And like I said, it's not a bad thing. But what if we could do this um, not only when stuff goes wrong or for stuff um, that the shadow government wants you to do, whether that's like. You know what I'm saying? Everybody pulling their resources for fantasy football or some shit, or everybody pulling their resources for March Madness. We're all thinking and adding mon money, monetary energy into something that benefits them ultimately. I mean, you may get a little crumb subsidiary system of, okay, yeah, I won my brackets. Or, oh, yeah, I won fantasy football. But, like, what, what, what if we took all this energy and applied it to making our own NFL, to making our own NCAA sports? You know what I'm saying? Doing some shit that actually pays out for us or not just doing it when it's a traumatic situation. What if, you know what I'm saying, we created prayer groups where everybody, um, and, and there's going to be steps to take after this video, so we're not just talking, we're actually bringing this into some real world shit, right? Because we're in Aquarius season anyway, so it's all about creating networks and association and shit like this, so, but just follow me, you know what I'm saying? So we're not only doing, like, family shouldn't be j just praying when something goes wrong, you know what I'm saying, or soul groups shouldn't just be praying um, for each other when something goes wrong, that's being only reactive, you know what I'm saying? You need to be proactive, right? Where it's like, let's start dedicating, let's start sending our prayers, our thoughts, our feelings, our visualizations, our good vibes, you know what I'm saying, towards things, towards positive things that we're actually trying to attract and materialize in our life and not just wait for a traumatic situation to actually use our power, right? So this is how you actually have your prayers answered by God. So you get a group of individuals, right? And y'all all, all um, let's say it's, it's 12 individuals, right? And then one, it starts with one individual, right? So, okay, for 30 days, y'all, um, I'm trying to figure out some, something that for this individual. This, it, this individual figures out one thing that they're trying to materialize in their life that is practical, that, can't, that they're like, they're close to it, it's, it's, it's clo close to their current circumstance situation, but they haven't quite got it right yet. So then they tell everybody, guys, I'm trying to materialize a new bicycle. You know what I'm saying? I need a new bike to um, ride my bike to work. You know what I'm saying? Okay, boom. So now for 30 days, instead of just that one individual saying, God, I'm trying to, or not even asking, but like taking steps and visualizing themselves on a bike and saving up money to put on a bike, it's them, and then it's also 12 other individuals who they're taking specific times out of their day. Or it's like, okay, guys, I am going to, I'm praying for Jimmy to get a bike. And then you got Sally. Sally's praying for Jimmy to get a bike. Then you got Lucy. Lucy's praying for Jimmy to get a bike. Then you got Brandon. Brandon's praying for Jimmy to get a bike. And you got all these different people adding their thoughts and their feelings for one specific outcome, right? And in this case, for the first month, it's Jimmy. And then after that 30 days, Let's say all the prayers work, Jimmy gets, and they might even do rituals together too, where it's like, okay, we're all going to send Jimmy $5 for his bike, you know, so that's $60 off rip, you know what I'm saying, bike ain't nothing, I don't know how much a bike is, but it's probably like a couple hundred, you know what I'm saying, so you got, you damn near a quarter of the way there, just off everybody sending $5 in and shit like that, right? And then it's like, okay, and then we're all talking about it, right? Yeah, I, I'm in our own personal conversations, yeah. Go through all this. Well, we ain't got to get this detail, but, like, I'm just showing you how it could be, you know what I'm saying? Because giving money, that'd be like a second house kind of situation, right? Then we're all applying third house energy. We're all talking about it. We might be, like, telling our friends, yeah, I'm really praying for my Jimmy to, um, could you pray for my friend Jimmy to get a bike? You know what I'm saying? Like, it's a GoFundMe, you know what I'm saying? But you ain't asking them for no money, you know, shit. You just, hey, you're just striking up conversations about it with your friends. Say, hey, get Jimmy get a bike. Or you could just say it in conversation. Yeah, right now. Last night I prayed for Jimmy to get a bike. They're like, what the fuck were you talking about? But you don't but the witchcraft you got on your mind is okay, I'm using my third house energy. I'm talking about it to my friends about Jimmy getting a bike. So that's adding more energy to Jimmy. And everybody's doing that. Four house energy. You know what I'm saying? Y'all tell y'all family, oh yeah, I come, let's, Jimmy needs a bike. Y'all got five y'all got five dollars? Alright, we'll just send up a little prayer for him. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? It's cool. And then when, in your private time, you're taking time to dedicate energy towards Jimmy getting a bike. You know what I'm saying? Four house energy. Boom. 
fifth house energy. You're being entertained by it. You know what I'm saying? So y'all might uh, tell jokes like, hey, Jimmy, when you get that bike, man, you're going um, you gonna, to you gonna put some holes on the steering wheel and, and take them to get some ice cream or some shit like that. Ha ha. Y'all making jokes. Y'all having fun. Y'all laugh. Y'all being entertained by this idea that hasn't actually materialized yet, but y'all making jokes and having fun about it. You know what I'm saying? Or if you're writing songs, you might shout out Jimmy on the outro. You're like, yo, Jimmy, you going to get that bike, my nigga? You know what I'm saying? Instead of talking about smoking on, you know what I'm saying, dead ops and shit like that at the end of your song. You'll be like, yeah, and Jimmy's finna get a new bike in 30 days. And nobody gonna know what you're talking about, but it's just something that you're entertained by, so you do it in your song. All right, boom, fifth house energy. Sixth house energy. You're taking a schedule routine out of your day all the time to focus on Jimmy getting a bike. So you're, uh, you're making a job out of it, you know what I'm saying? So after you get off work, you spend five minutes, 10 minutes, you know what I'm saying, uh, just dedicating thoughts and feelings towards Jimmy getting a bike, but you're you're strict about it. You're you to the point where if you don't do it, you're gonna worry about it. You know what I'm saying? It's like a job job for you. You're clocking into this this prayer group. You know what I'm saying? So you got everybody has clocking in for shifts for Jimmy's bike on some six house shit, right? Seven house. You know what I'm saying? Relationships. You might be telling your partner about oh Jimmy getting a bike. You know what I'm saying? Or you might um, again just be using that uh, verbalization, that Libra energy. That you might be initiating conversations about Jimmy getting the bike. You know what I'm saying? Uh, with a one-on-one -on -one individual. You know what I'm saying? So whether that's with a romantic partner or just you know what I'm saying someone that you have a relationship with, you're striking up conversations with them, right? About Jimmy, about Jimmy getting the bike. And you're doing it in a balanced, fair way. It's like yeah, you know what I'm saying? I'm helping Jimmy get a bike right now. But when the only reason I'm doing this is well, not only reason, but the reason I'm doing this is because when it's my turn to get my thing manifested and materialized, I know Jimmy's going to be doing it for me, too. So it's balanced, right? It's not just, oh, I'm giving my energy to Jimmy and I don't want anything in return. You think you're being a good Christian and shit like that. When it's like a lot of times when you devalue yourself, we'll, we'll be devaluing ourselves and make ourselves less important and thinking that's fair. But that's not off. That's not fair. You know what I'm saying? Fairness is you scratch my back. I scratch yours. So it's like, yeah, I'm helping out Jimmy. But I know Jimmy going to help me out, too. So it's like a chain is only as strong as its weakest link. So it's not like the whole group is just only for Jimmy and it's not for Sally and it's not for Lucy. It's like, no, the whole group is, is one all for one and one for all type shit. That's what's really fair in this. You know what I'm saying? Seventh house energy. Eighth house energy. You know what I'm saying? Um, this is something that you're doing behind closed doors. You're doing some deep occult, you know what I'm saying? You might be doing some shit behind closed doors, some deep rituals for Jimmy's bike. You know what I'm saying? You might make a voodoo doll out of, out of Jimmy riding a bike and you don't tell nobody, right? You keep it in secrecy. It's like, okay, I'll strike them conversations and telling my family I have a relationship and shit like that, but nobody knows that I'm, while they're all, you know what I'm saying, just saying prayers, I'm like actually making a voodoo doll for Jimmy, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Or you might be doing sex rituals for Jimmy. You know what I'm saying? You might be, you and your, you and your partners, like, you know what? When we bust a nut, we're going to visualize Jimmy's bike. You know what I'm saying? When we do that. So now you're using your eighth house energy to manifest not some shit for y'all, but for, but for Jimmy. You know what I'm saying? Ninth house energy. Okay, boom. It's like um, we're going we're gonna, to we're gonna expand our, we're going to travel for Jimmy's bike. So we might walk down to the bike store, you know what I'm saying? Go through a new experience. We might actually ride a bike ourselves. We might be so used to riding on cars all the time, but it's like, you know, I'm going to go through a new experience. I'm going to do something spontaneous. I'm going to ride my bike. And then the meaning and reasoning I give behind me riding a bike is this is me actually doing the ritual of, okay, I'm going to transfer this energy to Jimmy, you know, you know what I'm saying? So Jimmy's going to be able to ride his bike at the end of 30 days after our prayer group actually materializes this, you know what I'm saying? So that's the new me. And then you're traveling too. So it's ninth house and you're doing that all for the sake of Jimmy's bike. We're all specific. That has to be a specific um, thing that we can do this on. It's not just, you know what I'm saying? Foo-foo -foo shit. Tenth house. You know what I'm saying? You might, uh, you might actually start a GoFundMe. You might actually start some form of a business or something uh, to acquire some funds for Jimmy. You know what I'm saying? You might start an initiative um, that has to do with practicality and earning some money for uh, getting Jimmy. You might throw Jimmy's cat. Hey, guys, you might make this your status. You know what I'm saying? You might make a Facebook status, a Facebook post. Hey, guys, my friend Jimmy needs a bike. Um, his cash app is ba da 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 If y'all can send him some bread, even if it's only a dollar, every dollar helps. You know what I'm saying? Let's help, uh, hashtag help Jimmy get a bike. You know what I'm saying? And then, okay, and maybe people send him $1, $2 there. That's more money towards, uh, towards his bike. And it's also you're practicing 10 health energy. You made it your status. You know what I'm saying? You initiated some way to be practical and form some sort of, sort of a business around it, even if you don't go as far as to make an LLC. But if shit, depending on how far you get, y'all might make an LLC just for Jimmy's bike and then make, it, make Jimmy's bike a tax write-off. That could. It, it, but let's start small and then eventually get there. You know what I'm saying? So boom, 10 house energy. 11 house energy, you know what I'm saying? You start to make a network. And this is kind of all by default what y'all already doing. You know what I'm saying? So let's say... 
this soul group, this prayer group that y'all have, y'all have um, monthly meetings. And every monthly meeting, there's a topic. The monthly meeting um, on this, this, this month's topic is going to be, okay, guys, how we talk about um, Jimmy getting a bike? You know what I'm saying? And we're all just checking off lists. Did you do your prayers for Jimmy to get a bike? Yeah, I did my prayers. Did you do your prayers? Oh, I didn't really. Okay, you got to look, man, change the strongest, weakest leak. Get your shit together. We're going to let you slide this time. But, but if you don't pray for Jimmy's bike tomorrow, that's your ass. We're kicking you out the group. We're revoking your car. You know what I'm saying? Because you got to pay your dues to be a part of this association, right? So it's an aspect of the y'all making an association, a network out of Jimmy's bike, you know what I'm saying? At least just for that month or whatever, you know what I'm saying? 11th house energy. And then you got 12th house energy, dreams, fantasies, you know what I'm saying? Imagination, you know what I'm saying? Before you go to bed at night, you might um, program your, your sleep. You're like, you know what? I want to dream about Jimmy's bike tonight. And then it actually works. You know what I'm saying? You keep that on your mind long enough before you go to sleep, you end up having a dream about Jimmy being on a bike. You know what I'm saying? Or you can just daydream about it. You know what I'm saying? You can just um, fantasize. Oh, when Jimmy gets his bike, he's going to ride his bike to my house and we're going to play Xbox together or we're going to play PlayStation together. It's going to be amazing. I can see it now. You know what I'm saying? And you swim and you float in that imagination. You know what I'm saying? In that dream realm. You know what I'm saying? That's you fantasizing about Jimmy's bike, you know what I'm saying? Or you, you might be a, a female in this old group and you got a, um, you got a crush on Jimmy. And say, like, oh, I just want to ride on Jimmy's handlebars. No pun intended. <laughs> I just, I can't wait to ride on Jimmy's handlebars. You know what I'm saying? You having a fan 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 to see about Jimmy's handlebars and stuff like that. You practicing out 12 house energy to manifest um, Jimmy's bike. Now, imagine 12 individuals all doing that for Jimmy's bike, right? As opposed to just Jimmy uh, just slapping his hands together and asking some guy that don't exist, can I have a bike, guy? You know what I'm saying? It's going to have a way better chance of success based on the actual mechanism of what God is, all possibilities, bringing new things that haven't been experienced before. This type of shit don't exist. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, you got people praying for people when they're sick or bringing their energy together for March Madness or for Sweet 16, but you don't have no actual... Uh, groups, well, I ain't gonna say this, I'm not aware of it, you know what I'm saying, but it's not popular in like general population, you know what I'm saying, people that are behind closed doors, who knows what they got going on, they probably already doing this type of shit, you know what I'm saying, but anyway, for the most part, you're acting out some new shit, um, all possibilities, right, and it's teamwork makes the dream work, it's not just you praying for the shit, you know what I'm saying, and it's fair and balanced, because when it's Jimmy's time to get a bike, everybody's focused on Jimmy, but everybody's going to have their own time to focus on themselves too, and then have everybody else focus on them, right? So God's not a respecter of persons. It's only teamwork makes the dream work, you know what I'm saying? And you're having your prayers answered, you know what I'm saying? Y'all all becoming spiritual predators for specific things at a time. And then we do it for Jimmy first, right? Everything I just talked about, we do that for Jimmy. Then everything about the next month, we all do that for Sally. And then we all do it for Lucy. And then we do it for Brandon. And then we do it for Edward. And then we do it for Jocelyn. You know what I'm saying? And then everybody gets their time. You know what I'm saying? They're, everybody gets their season. And now y'all are y'all are acting out all possibilities in a unique way. And y'all are becoming spiritual predators and having specific things on your mind that y'all are becoming predators about to make your prey. So your prayers will actually be answered by God because you're you're acting out the mechanism in the right way. They're doing the teamwork makes the dream work for your own purposes and not for the shadow government purposes and not just manifesting shit for them and getting crumbs. Y'all can get actually what y'all want and y'all have control over it. You know what I'm saying? It's like we can be specific about it. You know what I'm saying? It's not like, oh, I'm just hoping and a wishing. It's like, no, we're using our actual energy to make shit happen. That is how to have your prayers answered by God. Now, like I said, we're in Aquarius season. Let's not just talk about this shit. Oh, yeah, good good video saying, oh, no, this is cool. Bro. No, I got at least on average, I be getting like 60 views per, per video or some shit like that on an upload, right? So, okay, boom, 12 individuals. That's one-fifth of, if one-fifth of the individuals, right? I'm going to ask y'all to comment on this video, right? Or if you know me personally, you can hit me up. Some way reach it because we're gonna make this happen for real. And I'm just not just talk about this in the video and oh, okay, then we all go back to being flunked out in our own person. Well, I ain't flunked out, but we all go back to our own lives just doing shit independently. Okay, hoping, hoping, and wish. Oh, yeah, good job. Your video just being entertained by the shit. No, we can actually do this. We actually got the mechanism, right? Um, and I want to start small, but it could, it could, it could grow into some bigger shit, right? So, like I said, 
if what the, if you were Christian, you know how at the end of church they'd be like at the end of the sermon, after the end of after the end of the sermon, it's like okay, if you do not have a church home, then come down to the front of the church and they get you to sign up, and as a, one of the deacons will uh, meet with you and tell you how to yeah, that's what we doing. You know what I'm saying? Okay, if you were moved by the message, you know what I'm saying? If you don't have a church home, if you don't have a soul group, are y'all actually structured and materialized and bringing shit into existence. You know what I'm saying? Leave a comment on this video. Let's make it some real world shit. Let's actually have our prayers answered by God. You know what I'm saying? Let's actually, and it, because the goal is to make shit beyond the internet, but let's start step by step. We could start on the internet, but instead of just being entertained on the internet, let's actually have some, you know what I'm saying, some tangible steps that we can take. You know what I'm saying? Don't just be doing shit for your job and doing shit for your family that don't support your dreams. It's just like, no, let's, let's form groups associations, you know what I'm saying, Aquarius season, um, to manifest and materialize our deepest desires, you know what I'm saying, moon still in Scorpio, you know what I'm saying, going into uh, Sagittarius and make a almost like a quasi-religion out of it, you know what I'm saying, so let's do that in terms of our associations, so if this shit sounds like something, okay, yeah, you sound like you know what you're talking about a little bit, that makes sense, I want somebody praying for me, quote unquote, and I want to, you know what I'm saying, pray for somebody else and actually get results in the world, you know what I'm saying, and have all possibilities play out through a team because the universe, you know what I'm saying, teamwork makes the dream work. Leave a comment on this video or reach out to me and we're going to actually make this something that we actually do so that we can hold each other accountable and that we can begin to actually see manifestations and materializations come into our life and, um, you know what I'm saying, have some proof on a, on a, in the pudding and hold God accountable and not just have God be this concept where it's like, oh, okay, yeah, well, you know, we talk about it, it sounds good. It's like, no. If it's not delivering, then fuck that. You know what I'm saying? We need something else. You know, so, so God going to have to start delivering some manifestations and materializations and some productive energies in our lives. But it's, us to us, it's up to us to actually make this shit happen. You know what I'm saying? So it's like the little flunked out Leonardo da Vinci picture. It's like humans be lazy as fuck. They don't be wanting God be ready to fuck with us. We just got to lift the finger. You know what I'm saying? And make this shit happen. And that's pretty much it. And we got the power to do that. So let's get it started. You know what I'm saying? I appreciate y'all for watching, and I'll catch y'all on the next one. Peace.